Hello, hello, this is Tanya here back with another island tour. Today we're visiting Catland, home of Amber, and it's so exciting. It's a Lord of the Rings inspired island, and my friend Amber is on the line. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> so I wanted Amber to join the tour because um, there's just so much inspired by the movie, and I thought you could take us through and kind of tell us some of the context and just remind us of what's going on in each bit. Um, so yeah, just really fill us with Lord of the Rings vibes. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> And that flyover is incredible. I, I think, I guess it sort of spoils the story a little bit because that's like the marshes, isn't it? The dead marshes, but yeah. Um, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, so let's, uh, I'll just start by showing the map real quick. Okay. So um, we've got a nice little village up front. I assume that's the Shire, but mm -hmm. we'll, we'll get there when we get there. <laughs> um, and some nice water uh, kind of around the side on, on the back. So that's cute. Uh, so your villagers are Sheldon, Kali, um, Lyman, Kabuki, Anka, Eric, Bruce, Tangy, Marshall, and Gwen. So a lot of cats. Your previous island was Catland, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Amazing. One of, my, um, one of my friends was trying to convince me to do Animal Crossing, and she knows that I love cats, and was mm -hmm. like, "You could have an island full of cats." So I named it Catland, and then for the longest <laughs> time, I had zero cat villagers. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now it's more okay. appropriate. Yeah, brilliant. So um, why don't you start taking us around and telling us the story and I'll interject with just like obsessing over how nice things are. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're, well, here we are entering the Shire and like at the beginning of the movies and the books, um, which I've been reading, Gandalf is here entering um, Hobbiton with his cart full of fireworks for Bilbo's 11th birthday. So, hello, That's Gandalf. so clever. I love yeah. how you've done this horse cart. And I know um, one of our friends, Momo, did yes. this kind of first with the garden cart and the horse. But then you put little hat here and it's so perfect. Oh, cool. um, oh and we should have said we've, we're both hobbits. Um, yes. <laughs> you're Frodo and I'm Mary. We, we hang out as hobbits once in a while uh, in a little group that's called the fellowship so yeah that's just some context of why we look like this <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh he's like hanging What's out up? in the shire today what's <laughs> up <laughs> okay and then here we've got some hobbit holes so um they're yeah. so cute just like tucked away in these caves mm -hmm. and they're all the little pointy houses aren't they yes they're super super adorable yeah and, and you're using the path it works so the well path. here <laughs> and if you like look up here you can see there's a little another hobbit hole kind of tucked back on the first cliff there oh that's adorable i love it it's all kind of higgledy piggledy little hobbit village um adorable and a cute lost item here i only get red books do different islands get different lost items i get the red books but then i've been getting these notebooks too lately oh, cute oh and over here we've got a little farm it's so cute yeah yeah inspired by lots of other people's little clutter farms it's really adorable and i like the pink anthurium plant here actually oh, it's um so nice touch of color yeah and then down here not really shire uh material but um my favorite kabuki is down here with his little beach house so oh cute yeah. such a sweet house it looks like coco's house actually it does doesn't it for a second i was like i'm confused i didn't think you had coco <laughs> yeah. um <laughs> but yeah just a sweet sweet beach setup and i mean it just shows off like how you're so good at designing areas that aren't hobbit related <laughs> 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 okay and then over the bridge i and like this view few... from the bridge it's really oh, really beautiful and there's a couple just... other villager houses tucked up there but they're yes. not the pointy ones yeah so you gotta hide them <laughs> yeah i gotta put them somewhere <laughs> <laughs> they're so welcome they just can't be the stars yeah. i like this wood on the mushlock i've never seen that it's a cute combo thank you yeah, and when I was designing the Shire, I was really thinking about um, what items they would have. Yeah, um, you've got really natural items all around, and it just it has like 
Yeah, it just feels really perfectly fitting. Yeah. Okay, and then here we've arrived at Bag End is up there. And Bilbo's birthday party, what do you want to look at first? Uh, anything, but I just love the sign so much. It's so cute. Did you make this? Isn't it great? No, I didn't. I found a YouTube video that was a compilation of a bunch of like Lord of the Rings um, codes. So oh, somebody wow. had already made it. Which was Amazing. nice because I started to make one and um, gave up very quickly. So <laughs> <laughs> I just know you make some of your coats, so do shout yeah. out when there are some. That okay, you made. I will. Okay, and here's Bilbo's birthday party. Oh, it's so cute and so festive. I love the birthday cake and this like very full dinner table. It's just <laughs> so good for hobbits because they get hungry <laughs> yes love all the food <laughs> <laughs> i love it that's adorable and yeah. you've got a lot of birthday items here it's really mm -hmm. cute like that sign and the umbrella i mean balloons and stuff uh yeah. super super cute it was perfect timing i was designing this area when it was my birthday so i got these items and was super excited that i didn't have to oh, beg on perfect. the internet for them yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> Amazing. All right, we're next. Okay, let's go to Bag End. Um, do you want to see there's You can like run through the top of the Shire up here. Do you want to see that or? Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Ooh, I like this little I've mushroom seen. farm. Oh, thank you. Oh yeah, I've never seen that. Do you want to catch it? To, yeah, I think I got to catch that. Yeah, go for it. Try not to scare it. Yeah, if if this is me, I definitely scared away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Huh. You gotta get three and, and then hit up, hit up, flick. Yeah. I like this flower code you've got. Actually, I like all the flower codes you've got. This one, I've, I've never seen this one. Thank you, the white one. Mm. Yeah, I've had it's it. It's really pretty. Thank you. Yeah, I really like the, it's kind of a white green code. I like that. Yeah, and it kind of looks a bit like kind of weeds or fallen petals mm -hmm. and clovers and stuff. Yeah, meets all needs so running around here this is yeah yeah go ahead oh cute little lavender farm yes oh and a sweet little um diy bridge <laughs> oh you've just created such a lovely village feeling through all of this thanks they all have like their own little distinct areas but it's connected it's super cute thank you yeah it was fun to nestle them all in here yeah, and like so many little farms, like it just mm -hmm. feels very appropriate. <laughs> yes. Hobbits love to farm. Uh, yeah, because hobbits love to eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I, I just love your theme so, so much. My mom used to read The Hobbit to me when I was little, like Aww. from the picture book, and she'd like make up songs along with it. This is like predates movie, obviously, so... That's the songs amazing. didn't really exist yeah yeah it's, like did uh, she take that because i know tolkien has tons of like songs he's made up like the lyrics that are in his books like would she turn yeah. those into like actual songs well okay like she's not very good at singing and she's not particularly <laughs> musical so it was more just like <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> but, but it was sweet <laughs> that is very sweet what a sweet memory <laughs> yeah so hobbits are very fond in my heart very Aww. dear also i'm super short so i'm just like so <laughs> hobbity <laughs> oh this is so cozy yeah so this is like bilbo's i don't know i guess living room you know we're in um yeah uh, Fellowship of the Ring, like absolutely. Gandalf confronts is, him about the ring. <laughs> is this where he writes his memoirs later? Yes. Yeah. I love but, it. That's or all here. The yeah. Either Ooh. place. I feel like yes, his living multiple. room. Exactly. It was just like a tons of paper everywhere, and there's the ring on top of the fireplace. Yes. Yes. So good. And I love how cozy everything feels with like the warm tones and the rug and all the books just scattered around everywhere. It's so adorable. Oh, thank you. I also like that you chose the black ring because it looks kind of ominous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I didn't think about that. I think it was just like one that I was able to get my hands on. So <laughs> It was made for you. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I also okay. haven't seen this wallpaper. It's really cute. Oh, thank you. It's very, very cottagey. Yeah. 
Um, okay, do you want to see the kitchen or the bedroom next? Any. Okay, let's we're, do kitchen. We're close to the side. Over here. Yeah. The kitchen is, is the heart of a hobbit home, I reckon. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> We need our we need the whole crew like making a mess. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> Just spilling food everywhere and Yeah, cracking plates. <laughs> yes. This is adorable. I love this little wheat code you've got on the ground. Um on the on the cushion. That's super cute. And it just feels like such a rustic kitchen. Mm-hmm. Like you just cook on that fire and have a bit of tea over here and some soup. It's adorable. Thank you. Really, really cute. I love it. And those tapestries are gorgeous. Right? Perfect for Bilbo's kitchen. Yeah. And the and the broom and pan to clean up after messy, <laughs> messy dwarves. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and Mary and Pip, let's be honest. Yeah, yeah. I, I take no responsibility. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tanya is Mary in our little Hobbit crew, so... <laughs> Okay. I mean, we'll just blame I, it all I'm, on Pip. I'm innocent. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, you here's... said this is a bedroom? Yes. Oh, cute. Okay, let me turn that Oh, on. and you dream in here. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Oh, I love it. It's just like, and it's a continuation with all the books and the papers and everything scattered all around. I love the mix of um, different types of cushions on top of each other. Mm-hmm. That feels very natural and cozy and homey. Thank you. Yeah, uh, somebody asked if this was Frodo's bedroom or Bilbo, and I would say definitely Bilbo's with all the, you know, his writing everywhere. Yeah, yeah. It feels like him for sure. Mm-hmm. Like he would just perch over here. <laughs> okay, and that's Cute. it. I didn't, I have a basement and an upstairs but um hobbits don't like to go upstairs so there's no there's no hobbit decorations up there no that makes sense everything's solidly one floor yes (laughs) there's baggin (laughs) cute have have the nasty uh relatives come to raid the property yet (laughs) right (laughs) yeah frodo ends up selling it to them uh, when he decides to leave the shire so yeah yeah, not not yet quite. <laughs> yeah, it still felt quite full. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... I love um, it, I love it. Yeah, so Frodo's got the ring, and um, he's ready to head off. If we had Sam here, he'd be with Sam, but he's got Mary, which they do join him later, obviously. Yeah. So, so I've got a Sam outfit on. I can, I can change my outfit. Sure. I can't change my hair. So where's Samwise, Samwise? Okay, there we are. Looks kind of the same. I know, they all look very similar. I like the side post. This is the way to adventure. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. Cute windy path. Yeah. And in the book, they there's this whole bit where they're in this old forest and all these adventures before they get to um, the next spot that we're going to arrive at. And you've kind of signaled to it, like with all these like mysterious looking mushroom items. Yeah. I've never seen them in these colorways and they're really cool. Oh, they're, like I, kind of spooky. Yeah, I tried with a darker kind of flowers and this uh, mush parasol to signal, yeah, like a spooky, ominous journey that they're going on. Yeah, I like it. And then they've arrived at Brie. Oh, amazing. I love this. I love this scene so much. Um, just that that gorgeous house and the signs and all these like um, custom codes next to it. Mm-hmm. Like you've really created a whole kind of villagey feel. It's so mm-hmm. cute. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen um, the log chairs used as top of houses. That's so clever. Thanks. Yeah, somebody on Instagram. I saw that, um, so I borrowed that idea. Mm-hmm. I Isn't really that clever? Like it. Yeah, really, really cute. And that um, the code with the light lamp posts, that's really mm-hmm. adorable. Yeah. Okay, so this is all very cozy, very cute. Yeah. The prancing pony, this is this is the hotel pub in tavern thing, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, it's the hotel pub tavern where they're supposed to meet Gandalf. 
Um, but he doesn't arrive because he's been waylaid by uh, Saruman. Yeah, and so. oh, cute little horse barn. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, shall we go in? And we shall. See who there is to see? <laughs> who are we going to meet? <laughs> <laughs> it's so, so cozy in here. I love it. Where do I perch? I'll perch here. Yeah. It's such a cute tavern. I love the codes you have on the simple panels. Like those kegs and the beer bottles are so realistic. Um, mm -hmm. And this bar set up with the dead and desk. It's, yeah, it's all just so, so good. And I love the, the cobwebs and everything behind. Oh, and then I spy someone in the corner. Yes. <laughs> We've got a uh, strider. Striders back there, yes. all moody. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and watching, you know, upon uh, Gandalf's advice, watching out for the hobbits. So, yeah, and he's drinking a, a very hot ale, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I just I love all the decoration you have around here. It just looks so so realistic. Um, really cozy, cozy pub. Thanks. Amazing. Okay, and then if we go upstairs, like we know in the story that, um, you know, Aragorn kind of, or Strider, whatever we want to call him at this point, um, mm -hmm. you know, helps the hobbits hide from the ring wraiths. Um, mm -hmm. So up here in the big room, we've, I've kind of divided into two rooms. Oh, very cool. They, yeah, they like hide and pretend to be in the room, don't they? Yes, yeah. Ooh, so. yes. That's so good. So this is like their little dormitory room. Um, I love the coats, you got. It's just so cozy. It just looks, yeah, completely like how uh, how the little tavern home would be. Oh, and then I've seen the ring, ring, ring wraiths. I can't say that. Ring wraiths. Yeah. Just there. They're so spooky. <laughs> right? And that is the coat I made. Um, you made this. Amazing. Yeah. yeah, I wanted that effect. You know, their little hoods and their um swords yeah yeah it looks so good so it's just like a it's a dress isn't it or yeah a yeah or it's like a sleepless dress yeah i love it and then on this side yeah we can't really go in there but it's you know that would be the room where like the hobbits are in the bed and aragorn's by the fire um while the ring wraiths are thinking that this room is where the hobbits are oh that's so cute that's really really clever also this window code is so realistic i know isn't it beautiful wow i did not I do that one that. <laughs> i haven't seen that one that's so cool yeah it's gorgeous that really pretty stained glass amazing i love okay. it you like managed to tell so much of the story with just one room <laughs> <laughs> and then out yes yeah 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 that's what is amazing about Animal Crossing is um, you can do so much with such a small space. Yeah, you really can. Um, and like if you kind of divide up space quite cleverly and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so um, they're on their way now to go to Rivendale. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, this little section over here, I made my camping area. And this is little gnome is a nod to a character that's in the books that's not in the movie. Uh -huh. um, Tom Bombadil is his name, and he. Oh yeah, yeah. He is like this. Um, how would I? I think he's he's like this um, humanized figure of like nature, and he mm -hmm. they're like in trouble, and he helps them, um, and they stay with him for a couple nights, and he's just this really kind of odd but happy-go-lucky character. Um, yeah, he's quite surreal in how he's yes. described, isn't he? Exactly. Um... Yeah. Like, he's not Very a human. Cool. Yeah, and he's been around, like, as long as the Earth had been alive and really tied to, like, nature, so. Very cool. I but like I, it. And I like how weedy the area is. It just feels very na like natural and appropriate for him. Thanks. Cool. Okay, so um, if we go up here, we're entering, like, the Weathertop Ruins uh, section. Oof. So, yeah, so can you tell the story of what's happening here? Yeah, so um, this is in the movies and the books. It's a little bit different, but 
um, Frodo sleeping and he wakes up to Mary, Pip, and Sam um, cooking over a fire. Yeah. And then <laughs> yeah, tells them to put it out and they start yelling and the, the Nazgul, the ring rights, um, hear them and approach the Weathertop ruins. Yes, yeah. Yes. Um, yes. Perfect. Yeah, and then they all run up here. You've got your ladder, right? Yeah. Okay. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> and is this the bit where Frodo's like he puts on the ring? Yes. Yeah. So let me get rid. Yeah. Here's the ring wraiths. Oh, it's so atmospheric up here. Really, really cool. And you can see the ring wraith um, outfit detail more, much more. It's really, really cool. I love how um, how like you've created the sense of the ruins with all the arches and the panels and all these stone items. It's super, super cool. It just feels like, feels like what it's meant to be. <laughs> yeah. It's been a um, fun, but frustrating challenge to recreate um, things from the book and the movies. Yeah. Yeah. I can imagine. Yeah. Um, oh, and then I just spied the stone engines in the back. It's so good. I uh, love thank it. You. Yeah, so you're right. This is the part where Frodo puts on the ring um, to try to get away from the ring wraiths, um, but he can't, <laughs> and they stab him. And then this little torch is a um, homage to Aragorn when he comes and uses the fire and fights them off. So. Oh, nice. I like it. I wish you could pick up items in the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, should we move on? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that was Strider to the rescue. Yes. And now they're rushing to Rivendale to heal Frodo. Oh yeah, I'm I'm starting to remember this. I should have just like rewatched everything before yeah. this story. <laughs> <laughs> I've uh, rewatched the Fellowship and uh, I haven't rewatched the Two Towers or Return of the King, but you know YouTube has a lot of nice videos. Yeah, um, the clips. Yeah. So over here is just the top of uh, Brie before we go to the next section. And I stuck some villager homes back here. Oh, it's cute. Yeah. I love it. Like yeah, it's really cozy. Mm -hmm. And I like the use of this pathing. You like got it quite irregular, um, which is really nice. Thank you. Cool. Okay. okay. And then we go up here. It really does feel like we're going on an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> the view from up here. So pretty. Yeah, thank you. Whoa. I'm spoiling Rivendell for myself, aren't I? <laughs> Sorry. No, no, no. This is where, I mean, this is the part where you start to see it. So, yeah, and if you look down, you can see the little valley of the river. It's so, so pretty. And I just love how right now in the dawn light, you can just see the silhouette of the standees and the temple and stuff. That's gorgeous. Thank you. And yeah, this is kind of the good view right here. It's a oh, little it feels right. so magical. Oh, thank you. I love it. And, uh, and you made the code in front of the temples, right? Yes. Yeah, I made those window codes. Um, yeah, I looked, you know, to see how um, Peter Jackson and like his set designers um, did the windows and I kind of copied them off of that. It's so cool. And j yeah, just like this kind of perspective work is so impressive. Like the the standees really make it look um, really realistic and there's just all this depth. Is that a moon in the background? I see? Yes. Yeah. Really, really nice. I love Thank it. Yeah. Yeah. It shows up better during the daytime, which is kind of funny because you'd think it'd show up better when it's dark but <laughs> that's true yeah <laughs> but it's kind of just looming like looming above it's just it's nice it's a nice touch okay and yeah that perspective worked like definitely inspired by lots of creators on instagram like they just do amazing things yeah yeah there's some people just that just have a knack for it it's amazing yeah okay and then we in the book and the movie both there's um when they go into Rivendale, there's a river that they cross over, but I decided to use this bridge. <laughs> yeah, it's um, if we could have water on like a higher level and bridges across like land, yeah, I think that would work. But this this is perfect for it. As this, this code is just so gorgeous. So you made two versions. Yes, I yeah. love it, and that's Thank really you. nice because it just um, 
I guess it could look a bit more um, repetitive if it was the same one over and over. But this is, yeah, just really beautiful. Thanks. Cool. Okay. And then um, back here is where the Council of Elbron takes place. I like the arch as well. It just it feels yeah. very um, fairy-like. Wow. I love it. So you can go ahead and take a I totally <laughs> imagine them all just crowding around here incredible it's so pretty yeah, yeah. so and we'd there's... be we'd be the short ones standing in front and then all these people behind us <laughs> exactly yeah and here's the ring again so good so good you gotta make a decision yep <laughs> <laughs> oh Oh. I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, and so this is where you know Frodo says, "I'll take the ring, but I do not know the way." And you know they decide on the um, other members of the fellowship to go with him. So, um, yeah. If we go this way, this what's, isn't what's that the... phrase like? You have my sword or whatever. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you have my axe, <laughs> you have my bow. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> and Sam probably is like, you have my cookware. Like, <laughs> yeah, my undying love. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so down here at the Secret Beach is my nod to Grey Havens, where the um, elves and Bilbo and Frodo take, not to spoil, spoil alert. <laughs> I mean, the um, whole this whole tour is a spoil alert, so guys, just yeah. be, be aware. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, where they take the boat to the west, so. Yeah, yeah, and they they just leave. Yeah. Yeah, it's this is beautiful, though. I love it. Like, this, um, this statue here just makes everything feel, like, very regal yeah. and historical. Mm. Oh, and I like this mm. painting here. It's like the boats. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. Cute. And then it's fun to imagine that Red's the boat that takes the elves. <laughs> <laughs> That's his soft side. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> he pedals in art and also takes people to their afterlife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. And then, um, so the fellowships together and they start their journey um, to Mordor. So we can. Oh, way through I didn't here. think we could walk along this. Yeah. This is so cool. Oh, and this wow. is a good view too if you like, you know, look up or whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Amazing. You can see the moon really well from here. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Gorgeous. And then they take the bridge out of Rivendale and. Um, Love it. Yeah. And then they go through. Again, in the book, at least, lots of different, you know, forests and mountains and, um, you know, they try to, I, I use these standees to represent um, the mountain range that mm -hmm. goes from north to south that they try to cross, um, but they can't because it's too snowy. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I love that touch. I wish you could have areas of your island in different seasons, you know, like if this was in winter. Yeah, so that cool. Would be amazing. Um, so then they decide to go through uh, Moria or Casa Doom. There's always different names for different areas, like in, you know, the common language or the elven language. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. um, here's the doors of Durin. So, so amazing. And you did this one, right? Yes, I did. Yeah. It just, it looks so incredibly magical, like just gorgeous. Um, yeah. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. And we've got the, the pool here that's supposed to signify the big lake where there's the like lake creature that comes out to try to get Frodo. And yes. um, yeah. yeah. And that's that creature, just that fish. <laughs> yes, just that fish, exactly. <laughs> Brilliant. And then um, in the books, they talk a lot about, um, I think it's the elves that used to live in the forest that comes up to this gate. Um, holly bushes are, um, there's in the book, there's supposed to be holly bushes on other side, either side of these doors. So I oh. use the trees and then these holly bushes to that's signify perfect. that. perfect. Yeah. I love it. Okay, and then if we go Such back... nice touches. Thank you. All right, you ready for Moria? Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> no? <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. I like how you kind of descend into it. Yeah. 
And all these touches are incredible. Oh yeah, so this casket here, all these like creepy fossil items. Mm-hmm. Oh, the skeleton. Did you know it moved? I did not know it moved until Amy's <laughs> tour. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I did, but I think I, I was also very surprised when I figured that out. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the other two members of our fellowship, I've also toured them. It's Amy, who's Labyrinth Island, I toured recently, and then Nico, who's um, like quaint English cottage um, country garden tour. Yes. So yeah. So uh, during Amy's tour, I realized that works. <laughs> <laughs> it was such a fun, genuine re- reaction. <laughs> I was just horrified. Um, yeah, so I love I love all these rocky items around. Um, what's the significance of the book? I feel like that's something, but I can't remember. Yeah, so this is Balan's tomb. So there's, um, I think those are the dwarves. He's like the head of the dwarves that go with Bilbo and the Hobbit, right? Mm-hmm. And then he um, goes to Moria to try to reclaim it for the dwarves. And oh, um, yeah. that group of dwarves make their last stand in this room. And this is like the scribe for his group is writing down in kind of like a journal all the things that happened and so Gandalf reads from that to find out what happened to them oh amazing I love it it looks yeah yeah, just very um meaningful just here and um this guy in the corner oh yes this is so when they're in Moria is the first time in the books and movies that um they notice that somebody is following them um so that thinking man statue signifies uh Gollum (laughs) <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> yeah. The color tone is perfect. Right? <laughs> and he's all kind of crouched and uh-huh. a bit decrepit. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and I put the well and the um, skeleton here, you know, because I think it's Pip, Fool of a Two. Yes, yeah, so it was Pip that um, in the movies, you know, made the skeleton go down the well and then woke up the orcs and... Yes. Um, other things that, that are <laughs> deep in the earth, yeah. <laughs> kind of fun. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. So then um, the orcs are chasing them, and then here is. Um, oh yes. The Balrog. This is the best yes. I could. Yes. <laughs> I can't believe these shoot fire. There's so many things I didn't know. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Wait, how do you get it out to do it? Oh, maybe I have to do it. Let me do it again. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> so, so this is that epic scene where where there's a standoff with Gandalf, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, rest in peace, Gandalf the Grey. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. So good. I love it. And I just, I think this, like, this bridge effect that you made is super cool. Thank you. It definitely, yeah, you can imagine him falling, falling yeah. here. <laughs> yeah. Where's my, Brilliant. where's my reaction? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> okay, and then, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then eight of the fellowship make it out of Moria. And, Oof. yeah, and walking through forest and land and their grief and um, decide to make a stop in uh, the elven forest of Loren. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know either. But it's so, so pretty. I love all the star fragments around and the... Um, um, what's that flower called again? It's the lily of the valley. Yes, the lily of the valley. Mm-hmm. Um, and the gold flowers, I just, everything looks so magical and it's super, super pretty. Um, yeah, just stunning. And you used to have star trees here, right? Yes. Those hardwood trees, um, were star trees until they got patched out. So I actually had them for like 12 hours before the patch. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I saw the photos. It looks so super magical, but yeah, even, I mean, even now it still looks gorgeous. Yeah. amazing yeah and I um, you know they in this elven forest they have their like tree houses so they live up in the trees so I tried to nestle those pagodas in the trees to signify that and yeah yeah I totally buy it yeah it's, it looks so good thank you amazing okay and then um, down here 
Galadriel wakes up uh, Frodo, and in the book, Sam goes with him, and this is Galadriel's mirror. She uses this picture. So good. Thank you. Like, this is just perfect for it. <laughs> <laughs> and everything just looks so magical around here with the Valiant statues and the rock garden and this, like, cool... This Which um, which star sign is this? I it's can't the remember. Aquarius. The Aquarius urn. Mm. Amazing. I love it. Beautiful. Thank you. And this is the moment he realizes he has to keep going. Yeah, yeah, he sees um, what may happen to the Shire, and he actually offers Galadriel the ring, and um, she ends up not taking it, and he kind of realizes, yep, it's my duty to take the ring and do my best to mm. cast it into Mordor, so. Yeah, it's something about, like, how she would have too much power or something. Yes. Like she, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, she realized um, she would have too much power and kind of decides to not take it, so. Good on her. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> poor little Frodo. <laughs> I know, poor Frodo. <laughs> um, so yeah, then the, the fellowship departs from Lorraine and they actually, you know, in the books and movies, they give them boats to go down this main river. Um, and towards the end of the river, I don't know if you want to, you can go hop on one of those islands if you want. Yeah, I will too. Ooh. Yes. So good. I remember these, like, massive statues, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. They're the statues of the old um, kings of the men of Middle-earth. <laughs> I'm, yeah. like, doing my best, too. I'm not, like, a huge aficionado. So, um, yeah. And those are the falls. And so, you know, they pull over um, on the side here to kind of regroup and decide. They're, like, at a crossroads. So in the books, they can either go like west towards Mordor or east towards um, Gondor and um, they kind of stop to make a decision. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yeah. So which way do we go? Let's go, um, yeah, that way. <laughs> Come on, Frodo. Why isn't he jumping? Are you in a photo? Oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I do that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so then um, up here is a little um, homage to, um, there's like a, a kind of watchtower fort ruins um, where Boromir chases Frodo and then um, Aragorn, oh, yeah. Like, yeah, they fight the um, orcs. So I can't remember, I think it's called Ammon Hin or something like that, so. I, I don't remember. Is this <laughs> is this where Boromir tries to take take on the ring yes yeah this is where he tries to take the ring and frodo escapes from him um and then where he is slain by the orcs mm. rest in peace for yeah yeah taken in by the ring but good man at heart <laughs> yeah and then this would be where pip and mary get taken by the orcs um that want to take them to saruman they confuse you know they just have directions to bring hobbits to him so they don't know that they've got the wrong hobbit Mm, I love it. Bait and switch. Yeah. So now, <laughs> exactly, in my uh, telling of the story, the you know, fellowship has broken up. So we've got Pip and Mary are with the orcs, and Aragorn and Gimli and Legolas are following them, and Sam and Frodo have taken off on their own. Yep. Yeah. And so who are we? Um, so we'll, let's be uh, Frodo and Sam. Okay. Yeah. Um, and of course they go across like a bunch of land and, um, they come across, I don't have a statue here, but they come across Gollum again. And, um, ah, sneaky guy, this can be Gollum. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, <laughs> Gollum says like, I can be your, um, guide. And so he leads them mm -hmm. through the dead marshes. Um, oh, which yes. Right now. Yeah. Yes. And this, this is so good. Like you, you see this in the flyover and I love it because it just looks so like uh, ugly, beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like creepy. It's creepy, beautiful. <laughs> yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> we'll just kind of walk through here a little bit and then I'll take you out the right way. <laughs> and all the, like all the bamboo, um, the short bamboos are so good. Thanks. Sorry. We have to go back. Where oh, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> 
I love it. All these pools are really, really gorgeous and creepy. <laughs> yeah. Too bad I couldn't put dead bodies in them to really. <laughs> <laughs> throw, throw that skeleton in there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then your and then your flag. <laughs> yeah, and then there's my cute little cat. <laughs> love it. Just, you know, suspension of disbelief. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have a um, sense of humor going yeah. through the dead marshes. <laughs> Okay, so we made it through, um, and this Hooray. is where, yeah, yay! Um, let's see. There's kind of two different stories that uh, diverge from here. So mm -hmm. um, Sam and Frodo run into Faramir, who is Boromir's brother. Mm -hmm. um, and in the movies, he, like, takes them back to Gondor, but in the books, he doesn't. He lets them go on their way. Um, oh. So over here, so when they're with Faramir... Um, Faramir wakes up Frodo and is like, come look at this, like, sacred pool of ours. Who's this little creature that's eating the fish out of it? <laughs> and so this kind of signifies that event. What? So Faramir sees Gollum? Yes. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's in the two towers. Um, okay. Yeah. So we've got Gollum eating the fishies. <laughs> and then that, that little coat up there is Faramir. So, and this is what, you know, yeah, Faramir asks Frodo, do you want us to kill him or do you want to kind of vouch for him and save his life? And of course, Frodo, you know, saves him. So, oh, yes. Okay. That's coming back to me now. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. And then if we were, I couldn't not do this part. Um, if we were Mary and Pip, then we mm -hmm. would be on our way. This would be Fangorn Forest for us. Oh, brilliant. Yes, where they get away from the orcs and then they enter the forest. So yeah. um, you can also see there's my little nod through the trees to Gandalf the White. Yes, just just watching over them. Mm -hmm. So good. And this bit's so foresty. I really like it. Yeah. Um, and of course we know that Pip and Mary um, befriend Treebeard the Ent. And then this yes. is my little Ent moot scene. Amazing! Yeah, it's hard to see it on a picture because the trees that are behind us show up. Um, it's so good. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, so this is like the tree hack, but it makes them look so tall. Right? <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Yeah, Amazing. so we're going to put together and decide to go to war against Saruman. The ends are the best. Yeah. They're great. So those are, those are the trees that, like, that can move and they can... Yeah. yeah. Fight. <laughs> yeah. They're like the tree shepherds. So they're um, sort of another, you know, there's multiple races on Middle Earth and they're one of the races that, um, you know, like elves oh. and men and dwarves and hobbits. So. Ah, I didn't know that. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, now we'll be Sam and Frodo again. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Gollum is, uh, you know, Frodo says, take me to Mordor, take me to the Black Gate. So, um he does. Gollum takes Frodo there. Nice. Which is all the way down here. <laughs> oh. This mountain. Yeah. That's a cool customization. Thank you. It's supposed to be a um, festival in Kyoto in the summertime where yeah. they light the bonfires. Yeah. And um, in honor of ancestors. So I hope that by using it for Mordor, I'm not offending anybody. But um, <laughs> I like oh, that it was like Black Mountains. <laughs> so. Yeah, and some fire around it. Yeah. So let's just, yeah, it's it's done, done with honor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. This army. Thank you. This it's is so, so good. Signify. Yeah, the army, you know, from, from Gondor that um, in the Return of the King that goes to fight um, Sauron's forces. Yes, and I love how you've got them almost like on the horses. This is you. amazing. Yeah, the cavalry up front. Yeah, I might need to do something like this for a battle scene yes. on my island. That's so cute. <laughs> and then if you come stand up here kind of next so, to me. Flick wants to be part of the army, oh, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're saying. It's okay if you come stand up here and then kind of look, look up. You can see the black gate. Yes, yeah, so good. And the um, the antique chair there. Mm -hmm. That's so clever. And is it those spiky bits? Are those um, the the mirror? 
Yeah, they're the gothic mirror, like, turned backwards. Super cool. I'm really into that. Okay. Awesome. Um, yeah, so then they, you know, decide that they can't get in that way. Um, and then, let's see. Gollum takes them to a pass over the mountains, which is back this way. Mm-hmm. Ladder. And um, he actually takes them into this cave layer of, uh, I think it's Shelob is the name of the spider. So this little spider crab represents oh, her. Oh, yes. Yeah, I remember the spider. Yes. So Who could forget? <laughs> oh, does that move? Yes, it does. Isn't oh, my it gosh. Terrifying? Everything moves. <laughs> <laughs> it's just moving on its own. It's like a deep sea creature that you get from diving. Um, oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It creeps me out every time I go by here. <laughs> um, oh, I yeah. love that. And then this is the tower, Sirith Ungol, where, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but where um, Frodo gets taken to be tortured and Sam rescues him. Okay. And then they uh, enter Mordor. Oh, so good. I love all the fire and the, the termite mounds. Like, it just, it makes it, ooh. I'm not fishing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it just makes it feel like very cave-like, with like what are they stalactites and yeah, etc. <laughs> very cool. And then over here is a viewpoint. The lighthouse is kind of in the way, but if you want to, oh no, you might want to stand here. Um, let me let's go back over to where we entered. I don't we will swap first. places. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, you go first. <laughs> so I stand here? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I've just seen it! That is so good! Thanks. Oh my gosh. Got the so eye what of is arm. that? So you've done like... How have you done this? So it's a cliff with a simple panel and then the upright locker turned backwards. And then the record the box. Record. Yes. Amazing. And you did like a, wow. I'm processing this. This is so cool. <laughs> that eye is creeping me out. <laughs> right? <laughs> like it can see me. <laughs> wow. That's so good. Stunned. Amazing. <laughs> okay. And then um, Sam and Frodo go through Mordor to get to Mount Doom. Mm -hmm. I made this for people that visit if I do a dream address. It's kind of a little maze, but I'll take you I'll take you the right way. <laughs> <laughs> so you're meant to kind of get stuck. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Oh, that creepy eye. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, and all these tarantulas. Love yeah. it. I know, it was really fun to do things like this in the Dead Marshes, to do things that um, we're kind of not intentionally pretty, yeah. you know, but yeah. still kind of aesthetically pleasing in a way. Oh, completely. Like, they're just, they're so clever and it's like, they're so visually, um, yeah, stunning. Just if, if a bit eerie. Yeah. Okay. And then we made it to the cracks of doom. Fire. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and here's our oh. old pal. <laughs> you don't throw the ring. <laughs> yeah, he's like, no, my precious. <laughs> and the ring just there. This is so good. Wow. So much fire. Yes. <laughs> you know, it's incredible. The, the lava pit that the ring gets thrown into. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, I, I rewatched the scene. Um, and I, I had forgotten because I'd seen the movies like. Return of the King a long time ago when it first came out and I forgot mm -hmm. that Gollum like bites his finger off Frodo's finger off and it was really whoa more grotesque than I remembered but yeah I forgot that too anyway I have to do a little movie marathon yeah <laughs> um I love that yeah that's amazing so that's, we're kind you know we're at the end of our journey we completed our quest hooray yay <laughs> the ring is destroyed Yes. You can get out of Mount Doom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you know, in the movies and books, the eagles come and pick them up, and oh, don't want to leave you behind. <laughs> yeah, I guess we could we could dodo rescue. <laughs> yes, we could. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, because then Frodo just wakes up back at Rivendell. Yeah. Yeah. 
Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for the very guided tour. I can't yeah. believe you did it all so chronologically as well. Like that just must have required so much planning. Oh, thank you. Really, really amazing. We're uh, hmm? back at the Shire here. <laughs> oh, wow. It all just connects here. Yeah. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, how did you plan this all out? Um, I, I did a rough sketch and then just kind of went with it and crossed my fingers that I'd have enough room towards the end to do Mordor. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, so good. All right. Well, thank you so much, Ember, for the tour. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, our little walkthrough of, of all the Hobbit, Hobbit lands and Lord of the Rings. Um, you can follow Ember on Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Catland Isle. Or yeah, yeah, Catland yeah. Dot Isle. Yeah. Yeah, so follow Ember and um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Say which hobbit you would be. <laughs> yes, <laughs> your favorite character from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, see you guys next time. Bye.